in your cards Your past a lie, he a fraud You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods And hopped in a pool full of sharks So watch what you saying when you do respond Or get left looking foolish and all Like who that won't smoke ain't nobody at all Doctors we body and all The prophets is back and we pulling your cards Your past a lie, he a fraud You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods And hopped in a pool full of sharks So watch what you saying when you do respond How you doing, bro? Right. And we out here to teach y'all people, let them know what's going on. Hey, y'all. All right, this is Mr. Gory. Acts 5 and 29. The book of Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Exodus 20 and 8. So let's see where it came from. Man, man, the world changed. man changed it to Sunday, Mr. Corey. Yeah. But God says Saturday is supposed to be the holy day. All right, listen to this, though. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Did you hear the key word in that? He said, Worship the sun god. So, do you understand when you go to church on Sunday, you actually worshiping the sun god because the god of this Bible says to worship him. Well, we're gonna read it. Right? Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So, God said the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. You got six days to do all your work. Hey, tell you, listen to them, bro. So he said you got six days to do all your work, but the seven day, the seven day is reserved for the most high God. That's a day of rest. We're supposed to be keeping the Lord's seven day. You understand that? Yeah. All right. In it, thou shalt not do any work. He said in it, you ain't supposed to do any work. So you're not supposed to work on the Lord's seven day. But we understand that we are still in captivity this day. So guess what? We got to do what our enemies say until we find something better. But if you if you can, you know what I'm saying, try not to work on this Lord's Sabbath day. That's why you see us brothers out here. You know, our, our jobs try to get us to work on the Sabbath day. But we don't, we go against it. Because we know the Lord. We want to get into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. So we sacrifice that one day unto the Lord. Right. All right? So you understand the Sabbath day now. I'm ready. So you're not supposed to be doing it. Yeah. Now, right. now, the Christian church that you go to, right, what do they profess? They say they know God, right? They say they got a relationship. Says, though, because we're not out here to make up our own doctrine. We are out here to teach our people what, is, what the truth is in the Bible. The truth is not being spoken unto us. That's the problem. That's why we destroy it as a race of people. Because we don't know who we are. 
we don't know what we supposed to be out here doing. Mm -hmm. I agree with you guys. The book of 1 John chapter 2 and verse 3. Bring it out. And hereby we do know that we know him. So this is how we know that we know him, which is God. Okay. If we keep his commandments. So if we keep his commandments, we know that we know God. So if we go to church on a Sunday and God say to go on a Saturday, do we know God? They learned that doctrine is in slavery. The same people that enslaved us taught them that same thing. Right. And guess what? They go to their school and learn that and come back and teach our people that. Right. But you understand something, Mr. Gorey. These men you see before your eyes, we didn't go to the seminary school. That's this right. is God giving knowledge. This, this is God giving knowledge. Right. We understand the Bible because we keep the commandments. Go to Psalms 111 and 10. So it's no coincidence, you know, why you see us out here. We're trying to edify our people, bring them out of the captivity, because we're not walking around in chains and shackles this way. We got a shackle on our mind. We still think that we just meant here to be some servants. No, we the sons of God. We the kings of the earth. We just have not been told. I agree with you. The book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Bring it out. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In order to make Understanding help all they that do his commandments. So we do God's commandments. So understand something. We have a great understanding of this Bible. We understand exactly what we read. So Mr. Gorey, you can have that same understanding, but guess what? You gotta hang around like minded people. Go to Hebrews 10 and 25. So we gotta change our way of thinking. That's the way we're gonna change our circumstance. If we don't change the way we think, we're not gonna change the way we because first it starts off in the mind. You gotta have the mind to do it. I agree with you. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 25. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. So he said, don't forsake the assembly of ourselves together. Don't forsake that. Don't neglect that. We gotta do it. Go ahead. As the matter of some is. Because that's the, that's the matter of some. Some people say, well, I ain't gotta come with me. Like right now, I'm exhorting you. I'm exhorting you to keep the commandments of God. You know why, Mr. Gorey? Because you're my brother. And how I show that I love my brother, I teach you what's true. I teach you what's free. I teach you something that you want to hear for the time being. Something that's not going to benefit you. I'm going to teach you what God says. Because God words are able to say. God words are able to say. You understand that? You understand that? It's the same mechanic they use to try to make you stay in jail. That's what they say, but understand, they say what they know. But they have to So, Mr. Gorey, all you got to do is act out 
That's all. You gotta, you gotta start. You gotta start. You gotta start. You gotta start applying what you know. Because it's, it's important for you to know and not know. You understand that? You gotta, you gotta. In order to be a leader, you know, you gotta, you gotta take that step out. You can't wait on the next man. You gotta be a leader. Because guess what? A lot of people depend upon you. I guarantee you, are, you're a leader to a, a lot of people in your community look up to you. Know. So guess what they see? Man, I don't know. He said, I ain't got good sense. That's what they say. But guess what? They say we ain't got good sense. Right. But we understand right. what the Bible says. We got plenty of sense. You know why? We got sense enough to keep the commandments. That's right. Because guess what? In the end, a lot of people gonna look foolish when they when Christ comes to stop. So I So 
it's a blessing to you know, for us to even have our language to have this language. You have to be converted. Go to uh, go to Acts 3 and 19. You have to be converted. You have yep. to change your state of mind. Yep, yep. Now, this is this, 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 this the whole thing right here. Right. So, you know, everything starts in the mind. Whether it's good or whether it's Man. evil. Read what you got. The book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Did you hear what God said? God said to repent. You got to turn away from the things. while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how we're men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth. 